It is mid-October, but in parts of the Northeast, it feels like January. A nor'easter has brought shivering cold and dumped record early snow, and another storm is on the way. Some of the heaviest snow is in State College, Pennsylvania, home of Penn State, right in time for homecoming. Stephanie Sy is there. Happy Valley hasn't looked this snowy in October, well, ever. The storm dumped several inches of snow on central Pennsylvania, the most in State College, which recorded its earliest snowfall in history. The nor'easter reached down into New York and New Jersey with lashing winds and rain in coastal areas. Trees were the only reported casualties, overburdened branches splintering off onto power lines. To have this kind of heavy snow falling on this many leaves, uh, it just creates uh, a, a, real, a real headache because the branches are coming down and um, all over the place. The streets are littered with debris everywhere. There's a lot of wreckage. Utility crews are working to restore power to 10,000 households. But at Penn State, the snow didn't stop the homecoming parade, only made for some soggy floats. Man, it's not per se the Nittany <laughs> Lion, but um, as you can as you can tell, the snow and the rain and three nights of sleeping outdoors, the poor lion looks a little raggedy. And this storm has a second act with possibly a lot more snow. A two hit punch. Uh, that's a yeah, I think even more problematic than one massive nor'easter. Now this light snow falling around me right now is sort of the lull between the two storms. Even the winter hardened residents of this city say they were taken off guard by this autumn snow. But come tomorrow they'll be bracing for another round of that wet heavy stuff.